payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? Did you make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello?
victim. A writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? This is photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Alice's memory card. just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. years ago, I 
started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Ellen was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. 
Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time, it... this will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all the shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. So much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath, where's my face? The dark place in your place, scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here, in Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa.
Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Yeah. The dark place. A dimension that's home to monsters. Huh. Wild stuff. Hmm. 
I feel bad for these guys. Wake has more information. I need to keep questioning him. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all of this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The uh, stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roadster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the Warrior Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Well, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. in three delicious flavors. That's right, our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. 
can now be enjoyed in smoked hickory, teriyaki, and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here at the Valhalla Nursing Home and thought I'd catch up with one of our residents to get her thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from my spinal stenosis. Oh, dear. You know, when I'm feeling stiff, I find a light snack helps. So, did you try that beef jerky? No. Lunch is at 11, and I wanted to save my appetite because today was the fish soup with crackers. You're allowed up to four crackers, but I only take one unless I have a glass of cranberry juice. They ran out of cranberry juice at breakfast, which is at seven. I didn't take the oatmeal today because it makes me gassy before cribbage, and I can't... So you didn't try the jerky. Got it. Well, that's too bad, Donna. Their new teriyaki flavor sure does hit the spot. They had teriyaki salmon with rice on Friday's dinner menu. Dinner's at five, but we all know the salmon takes longer to prepare, and then you're late for bingo. And who needs all that spice? I agree. Teriyaki is a shit flavor. Who? Is that Tapio? How are you on the line? I couldn't end the call. You've been on the phone this entire time? Yes, and I hate teriyaki. Well, it's delicious on jerky. So, let's give a big thank you to Wendy Davis for these samples. Wendy? No, that can't be right. Wendy went missing in 2010. I heard she's dead. No, I'm, I'm referring to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wendy Davis, that's the dead one. She's dead. Right, well, that's our time. Remember to keep your coffee warm and your chin up because that sun shines right around the corner. <laughs> Pat Main, signing off. Hello? Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled in vain. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls his first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood, 
the rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things, things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Force it open. Open this with my bare hands. Hey there. Good day. birds now where will they go who will feed them fly away find a happier place go while you still can What about old Margaret? Where will I go? Now, why'd you go and do that? Stomping around like that and scaring the poor little things. And what about old Margaret? Hey. It's not opening. Have a nice day.
Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea, going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For Watery! Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. the time gone there's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left hey what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so. Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important, and it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hi! Okay then. Catchy tune. Excuse me. Do you not wish 
Oh, he's in the middle of a show. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed. Water is definitely quaint. There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. How'd she get loose from the mooring? I hitched her up so securely. I swear this vessel has a mind of its own. I bet they have good fish here. with my bare hands. Thank you. 
Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber-jabber. Not on the radio and not in the sauna. <laughs> 